Hey guys, well, I'm getting ready to see if I can cut this thing open. This thing is pretty solid and, uh, and I'm gonna try to uh, do this with uh, my Dremel. I don't know if that's gonna, if that's gonna work, but um, And um, again, this is pretty solid, very nicely built, but I would like to see what's inside. So let's get started. First, of course, eye protection because this is kind of dangerous. So I'm gonna see if I can cut a, a, along the, uh, the edge here of the filter and uh, we'll see what happens. working a little bit and um, I'm gonna have to get a respirator this is pretty nasty all right let's try this again It ate that thing up. Let me take the uh, the respirator off. Whew. Alrighty. As you can see, this um, this case is pretty pretty solid. It's not much to it. Just a little base. Um, piece of metal acts probably as a spring. And of course this is the threaded portion, the very top. This is actually pretty well made. I'm surprised, but this is very, very nice actually. Very nice piece. And you saw me remove the uh, gasket first. So that's um, out of there. So let's have a look at the actual filter. This one has 
I would say about, I'm gonna guess here, about at least four, maybe 5,000 miles on it because you can skip between all changes. And of course, I, I try to keep mine between 2,500 and 3,000 um, miles. And uh, the, the manual says to change the oil every, what is it, 7,500. 7, and the filter every other uh, oil change. So anyway, let me um, see what's involved in order to take this thing apart. And uh, I'll be back in a sec. Well, as you can imagine, this is pretty dirty work. I've tried prying this apart with a couple of screwdrivers making very little progress. So what I wanna try next is just, what I would like to do is separate these, these portions so I can actually look at the element. So what I'm gonna to try to do next, is see if I can cut. I am sure this element is glued to these metal plates and um, Boy, this is, this is not easy. bottom portion as well. bellows here. If I can cut this thing open. I think it's pretty well made. Can I argue that? Okay. Oh, hey, how much glue do they use? Almost there. There. So that's the guts filter and you can see they they glue all this paper in there boy oh boy and I wanted to have a look in here but uh, 
there's very little that you can see really. That's where, where they're joined. Boy, this is messy. But anyway, for the most part, this is looking pretty good. And again, you know, these, these things, I'm, I'm really pleased to see how, how well built they are. Wow. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is just for grins and, and giggles, I'm gonna extend the, um, the paper element and I'm gonna measure it just to, just so I know how long this thing is. Well, I think the only way that I'm gonna be able to do this is to relocate to this end of the workbench. And because this is, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? I don't know, I can't think of it, but anyway, I have to stretch it like so, and then I can measure, hopefully somewhat accurately. So here we have a foot. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, six feet, ten and a half inches. Wow. And again, this thing is messy. So after all that fun stuff, there it goes in the garbage. Now I'm gonna have to clean my workbench because I got oil everywhere, which was not part of the plan. Well, whenever you're dealing with these things, you're gonna get stuff dirty. So, no surprise there. But anyway, oh, my phone, yeah, my, my phone is also covered a little bit with use motor oil but anyway I don't know if this was worth the trouble but it's always interesting to see how these things are made how well or how bad built they are this AC Delco um, filter is actually in my opinion very well built so I think it was worth the um, taking it apart and, and seeing what was happening inside. Of course, you're looking for any kind of traces of metal from that came uh, through the oil and got trapped in the um, in the paper element. And fortunately, in this case. That did not happen. So that's uh, a little piece of, bit of peace of mind for me anyway. So you don't want the engine to be kind of disintegrating uh, as you drive it. So, but anyway, all right, made a mess, but hey, it was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And, um, Again, I'm gonna have to clean up a little bit here with my tools and everything. So, alrighty guys. Well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Take care. And you thought that this was over, right? So let me show you what I've done so far, just because I have nothing better to do, I guess. I cleaned the inside of the, 
of the uh, outer shell with some uh, just regular alcohol and uh, turned it upside down. Give it a few whacks with a hammer just so it would sit flush like that on the countertop. And now what I'm getting ready to do is to cut a piece of this hose. I had a piece in there in the uh, with my stash of hoses and, and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to approximate length and then I'm going to see about cutting it or slicing it rather long ways and I'll show you what I'll, what my plan is. Alrighty. So I took the tubing and I sliced it open long ways and what I'm going to try to do is see if I can get this thing started in here. I don't know if it'll stay in place. We have to use some crazy glue. Yeah, I might have to uh, use a couple drops of glue here at the very end. But uh, that's the idea, just to protect the uh, the edges. And I thought that makes an excellent little container for little tools and, and whatnots. Just because I like to make stuff and I throw, I hate to throw things away. I couldn't find the uh, deburring tool that I, I know I have somewhere from my days when I was building a home-built airplane. Actually, I was building two, one of a, out of a, aluminum and the other one, it was a fly baby out of uh, wood. Well, my friends, there you have it. A beautiful OEM, full flow AC type PF25 oil filter canister for stuff thingamabob. And um, I think it turned out pretty, pretty decent, if I say so myself. Makes a great gift for someone you don't like very much, I guess. But anyway, you get the idea. Or maybe someone you do like. Heck, handmade, mostly. But uh, so there you have it. You can always repurpose some of these things just for, um, for fun for gifts, for whatever. I would like to make something cool one day so I can use as, um, as a clock here in the, uh, in the garage. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this little silliness and um, I will catch you guys later. Bye, thanks for watching.